Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're noticing when you're running a check disk scan that it says that the volume isn't used by another process. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Select the setting gear icon on the left side where you hover over it should say settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the Windows Update tile, so Update and Security, it's near the bottom here, so go ahead and just select that. And then select Recovery on the left side, and then underneath where it says Advanced Startup, so you might have to scroll down a little bit, this is Start from a Device or Disk, Change Windows Startup Settings, or Restore Windows from a System Image. Go ahead and select the Restart Now button. Please save and close it of any open programs and applications before you do that. So go ahead and just select that. Select the troubleshoot option, reset your PC or see advanced options. Select advanced options again. And now select command prompt, use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. So now at this point, just enter into your administrator account. If you have a password, go ahead and type that in. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and continue. And now we're going to try and run that check disk scan again. So I'm just going to type in chk, dsk, space, and then whatever our drive letter is. So C, and I'm going to do a colon, space, forward slash X, and then another space, forward slash R. I'm going to hit enter our keyboard. This is going to begin running the check disk utility scan here. So again, pretty straightforward process. You can see how quick this was. And I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it at this point. So you can see the rundown at the bottom here. It says it's done. You can see a little blinking cursor to indicate that. You can go ahead and just close out of here. And then if you were to continue and exit to Windows 10, it should automatically boot you back into your desktop here. So again, pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.